WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrial has finished down 422, NASDAQ off 136, SP is off 55. Let's go. I'm going to go over to the SPY again and take a look at this. So you had, we're coming into 92 million. You did 78. That being said, my take, we're going to break it in the morning here. Uh, we hit 512. Let's swing low was 512.73. Closed at 514. We go into the three Qs. We hit 436.28. Get 59 million shares. I think we're going to 58 million. Yeah, 57 million. So the bottom line is that you went in there. Now, the Qs didn't hit the low. So in one way, that's kind of bullish, actually. But I'm still taking the line that these gaps want to get filled. And where I'm going with that is I'm going to go right over to the dollar because the dollar took off like a rocket ship today. Once the CPI was out, took out its swing point, had wide price spread. We don't have volume on the dollar, but that's telling me the dollar wants to go to 107, 100, and we're at 105 right now. And then if we go to, let's see, so we get bonds. Bonds want to go lower. Dollar wants to go lower. The gold market rejected lower price, but you had 300 and something thousand, 339,000 contracts. So we rejected 2337. You're laying out here at 2349. You know, so that hasn't been affected that much just yet, okay? But that dollar, the dollar is going to be the wild deal here, folks, okay? Because if we get an expansion like that in the dollar, this market doesn't like the dollar, and I suspect those gaps will get filled. So we'll see where the rest of this goes. And if we take a look at the 10-year yield, right now we are at 4.548. And the low is 3.88. Is that correct? Let me see. Yeah. No, the low for the year is 3.33, and the high is 4.99. We're only 400 basis points away from the high. That's pretty intense. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Jacob tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m.